Welcome to the car seat selection video. In this video, we will go over a few key points on how to pick the best car seat for your child. We want to make sure that you choose the right car seat for your child and that you can correctly install it and use it every time. In this section, I'll go over the four major types of car seats. Infant carriers, which are also known as rear-facing only, rear-facing convertible, forward-facing, and booster seats. After a booster seat, your child will be ready to use the seat belt. Try to use each seat until your child reaches the height or weight limits on the label because each step offers a lower level of protection. After this overview, you can learn more about each type of car seat in the separate video segments. This is an infant carrier, a common type of rear-facing only seat. A convertible seat can be used forward-facing and rear-facing. It grows with your child. A combination seat or a harness booster can be used forward facing with a five point harness or as a booster seat when your child reaches the height or weight limits of the harness. Pick the highest weight and height limits you can find to get the most mileage out of your child's harness seat. Booster seats are used for children who are too tall or too heavy for their harness seat. This is the last step before using the vehicle seat belt alone. Your child may be ready to transition to the vehicle seatbelt alone when they get to 57 inches or four foot nine inches tall. This is the average height of an 11 year old. Before switching, make sure your child can pass the seatbelt fit test shown in the booster seat and seatbelt videos. How to choose the correct car seat for you and your child. Child and car seat compatibility. To find the right car seat for your child, it is important to think about their height and weight, not just their age. Different types of car seats have different limits. Try to go for the highest height and weight limits you can find for each seat. Car seat and vehicle compatibility. Similar to finding compatibility to your child, it is equally important to make sure it fits your car. Stores that sell car seats may let you take a sample out to your car to check that you found one that will be a good fit. Ask a salesperson for help. There are two different types of ways to install a car seat, a seat belt or latch. LATCH stands for Lower Anchors and Top Tethers for Children. You will find this common acronym in your Car Seat Owner's Manual or in the Child Passenger Safety or Car Seat Installation section of your Vehicle Owner's Manual. Lower Anchors. These are lower anchors. They are used to install car seats instead of using the seat belt. There are two types of lower anchor attachments, rigid and flexible. In the rear-facing and forward-facing videos, we will show you how to install your car seat with the lower anchors. Because lower anchors have weight limits too, it can be a good idea to use the seat belt when your child is big enough for a forward-facing car seat. Lower anchor weight limits can be found in your car seat owner's manual. Top tether. This is a top tether. It is used for forward-facing seats and booster seats. Whether you install your car seat with lower anchors or a seat belt, make sure to use the top tether. It keeps the top of your car seat from flying forward if you stop suddenly. Some high back boosters continue to use the top tether. Make sure you are using the correct top tether anchor by looking at your vehicle owner's manual and the indicator or tag found behind your vehicle's seat. Five point harness. When using a five point harness, there are three main items to keep in mind. Chest clip, crotch buckle, and tightness. A child should be using a five-point harness until they reach their seat's height and weight limits. Manufacturer's card. Once you purchase a car seat, there will be a card like this attached to the car seat or on the manual. It is important to fill this card out and mail it to your manufacturer or you can register it on your car seat manufacturer's website. That way, you can be sure you are receiving up-to-date information on any recalls to the seat or notifications of when the car seat is close to expiring. We've made four installation videos so you can learn more about rear-facing only infant carriers, rear-facing convertible car seats, forward-facing car seats, and booster seats and seat belts. Select this video that matches your current need for more information. For example, if you have an infant, you may want to watch the rear-facing only video or the rear-facing convertible video. If you have any specific questions and need more help, please contact a certified car seat technician at Lurie Children's by calling 312-227-4711 
or the Buckle Up program at Lurie Children's by calling 312-227-7081. Thank you for watching.